I'm gonna use this microwave to see what it feels like to hold 600 amps of power in my delicate little hands. To make hundreds of amps, I need to carefully extract the electrical components from this microwave. I safely ripped out the high voltage transformer while avoiding the instant death capacitor. You might know that powering this thing right out of the box and touching it will send you to a different realm. So I just won't do that and neither should you. But if you unplug it and start grinding away at the core to remove the base plate and then brutally remove the coils, you can now shimmy the primary coil back in and make your own DIY secondary coil with super thick copper. When this is plugged back in, it behaves very differently. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. First it screams in pain, but then it also has hundreds of amps coming out of this thing. It melts metal like it's not even there. But I still wanna show you what happens when I touch these terminals. The reason I wanna do this is actually because of this AA battery. When pushed through the right circuit, it can almost stop a human heart. But as it's normal low voltage self, I can touch it without a problem because of my skin's resistance. And fortunately, our DIY coil only has two volts, so this should technically feel similar to the AA battery, but with like a lot of alternating current. So let's touch it and find out how it feels. Don't try any of this. It seems I'm completely fine and don't feel a thing, even though the metal is conducting tremendous power on the same path, causing these sparks. So that's what hundreds of amps feels like with low voltage. Nothing. 